All right, we're gonna play another League of Blue White today. Just gonna go with it, wing it again. Made a couple changes from the most I played this morning, but I just played a little bit more of it today. I wanna go back in it and try some. Just try playing it. It's a fun deck to play, and it's good to to try to get a hang of. I think so. I'm going to give it a whirl, see if we can keep going. <clears throat> I do enjoy playing this deck. When when the games, like when you, your deck like cooperates and the games go long, it, it is very fun to play. Though there are some times when the games don't go long, or your deck doesn't cooperate, and then it's like, what am I doing? You know, we're just kind of floundering around. So let's see if we can at least figure out what's going on with it. I would like to play first. Oh. I really just like Mulligan in hand with lands and spells, but like Terminus is just not a real card in my hand. You do have to mulligan kind of a bit with this deck. Uh, let's keep. I think we want this, and I think we're actually just going to lead on the Colonnade. Because we don't really know what we're doing with our Serum Visions yet, because we don't know what we're playing against. So. Even though the land is not good, it's going to be the, the let's just cast Jace on time. Okay. Bushwhacker, Vengevine. Not a bad hit. They didn't mill over a bridge, but. So let's go get a tapped. I guess we can actually just get an island. Could play this tat, but we might hit something here. Well, we kind of did. I think I definitely want the land. I don't know if I want the Teferi. I kind of don't think I'm going to want this Teferi. I'm going to have to set something up to where the Jace takes over the game for me. And then we figure out what to do after that. But I don't think I can. I don't think I'm in a position where I can top to fairy. That is grave crawler into another land. So here comes the. All right, so maybe the topping the land was too greedy. All right, so we can crack for five. Yes, yeah, so maybe tapping the land was not good. Now we're probably going to have to like flounder a bit because we're going to take nine here and go five. And like could easily die if they just kick a bushwhacker. All right, so just playing a guarded on. And now we just kind of hope to hope this cryptic command gets us out of this or at least buys us some time. So I did hit a bridge, which is going to make this difficult. This doesn't make it that difficult. Like, we're already in enough trouble where it doesn't really matter. I'm really sacking so many things pre post combat for in my main phase. Oh, just because they can do the wombo combo grave crawler? Okay, that makes sense. This makes sense to me. So we have to find like another cryptic command or just something to bridge us to this terminus. If we can get to this terminus, we might be okay. But then we have the greater Gargadon, which is going to be a problem. Tap. 
cap draw. All right, that's not what we're looking for. I don't even think like a Supreme Verdict does it. It's like Cryptic Command or Miracle, so we get like five outs, I think. And some of those are even, it's probably actually just, yeah, that's not it. And that's sometimes the way the cookie crumbles. But we get plenty of cards after sideboards, and hopefully we'll be able to swing it. So cut one of these, and then cut all the counter spells. I would know I know I want like rest in pieces, timelies, and my two angels. So I want these seven. I don't want these. <coughs> Probably don't want my snapcaster mages if I'm boarding in rest in pieces. And then probably in a pinch, Supreme Verdict is better than either the the like one random um Snapcaster Mage, so, like you could say the same thing about the Vendillion clicks. But I think the clicks are there to like, I guess like it's kind of the same thing because you play click to Snapcaster are there to kind of trade off with creatures. So let me see what my curve looks like. Maybe this like Teferi is also shenanigans. That's just playing another Snapcaster Mage. But I do want a couple, a good enough ways to pull ahead. So I'm going to just try this. <clears throat> oh, I gotta hit the submit button. Thought I did that. Turns out I didn't. would like to play first and I don't think this hands good enough so we're gonna ship this we don't have the lands or the spells really oh this is garbage too I need to hit like land land in order to do anything timely might catch me up and path to exile might catch me up but I basically get two looks at a land and these cards I'm never casting yeah we're just gonna keep going all right. I guess we're just gonna put the island on top. We only need one white source, but multiple lands to get this hand to work. Rough start. Rough start to the evening. It's always so depressing losing your first match in a league. That's where we had that Snapcaster mage. Flash that thing in. Trade with a Stitcher supplier. Alright, that's gonna give him at least a zombie. Two zombies. A white land would be pretty solid right here. Not one that comes into play tap, preferably. That would not be ideal. Just getting that F6 value now. 
they're actually casting cards. They're going to spend a greater Gargadon. Spending Gargadon would be pretty sweet because this Nature Supplier in play. Yeah. That's not it. They're probably going to sack this because they, they take this from 1 power to 8 power. Or to 4 power and they get to like help the Raider anymore. Yeah. Seems like the right play to do. Alright, so they didn't hit anything overly good. They just have 8 power in play, but... Third bridge. And it's like, do you got... Show me. This feels like a uh, whatever it is is about to be kicked. A bushwhacker. Nope. I'm not even sure Timely does it now. So I go down to eight. If I go up 16, they're all running lands. I've got a chance. But even if I get you running lands, it's going to be tough. Oof. That's tough. Tough first match. But, I mean, game one's probably pretty tough. And then you mold a five game two, that's just going to happen. Gun of Mercy. It's kind of a cool motto name. I like the Illuminations. I don't know enough to know if it's actually good, but I do, I do like them in the deck. I've always found like I've always found opt in other decks to be so underwhelming. And I don't know if um and I don't know if Dad, Yep. Yeah. Um I don't know if even with the Miracle Synergy, if it's worth it to play a card that's like not that great. How's it going, Jay Huey? I appreciate the bits. All right, I would like to play first. <coughs> we'll keep this hand. We need a white source, but well, we just need lands in general. But we've got a serum vision to help dig our way there. I don't think I want this to fairy yet. I do think I just want another land. I'm gonna regret that if I'm they're playing something aggressive here. But now that they just show this island, I feel like I want another land. Oh, we're playing it storm. The opponent seems to make more sense. I like the main set, but there's four Jace. Way too many. There's only two Jaces. Unless I've got the wrong thing on my stream decker. So let me check this thing out. Storm's a pretty tough matchup, I believe. Oh, there's three, yeah. Okay, well, cycle this. We can bluff a spell snare. Hit logic knot. Should have cycled my other one. Don't know why I didn't do that. Hopefully, we hit a land here and we can oust this. No. So, but it does not appear that's going to be in the cards for the home team. All right, well, we're going to play this. Maybe we can get lucky and snipe, like, an important spell. Like, maybe their hand's all mana. I should have restarted Moto. Probably should do that in between my next match. Gosh, that's tough. 
Moto super, just got super laggy in the last like two or three seconds here. Okay. You don't want either of these. I'm going to attempt to path my opponent. Or no, I have to oust this now because it's not path. <clears throat> so hopefully they just go for a gifts I'm given here. And then we can just remand. Uh, I guess we got, just got to go for this. This is the hill we're going to die on. We're not snapping back any illuminations anytime soon. At least now, if they're going to go for it, they have to use some some stuff there. Lost to Affinity and Tron. Yeah, that's tough. You play Death Shadow, Teddy? Or would you play? All right, so they're going to gifts. Maybe they're going to gifts. What happened there? Did I just click on the wrong thing? Cast over cast draws a card with remand. What? Cast remand targeting Alice. That's logic target. That's that's for real. They just like click on the wrong thing. What happened there? Logic not targeting remand. Cast desperate ritual. Draws a card with remand. What? They paid for it? Oh, they paid for it with the ritual. Okay, okay, okay. I was just so confused for a second there. Well, I could go oust, snap, oust, which kind of sounds all right. And then at least the board is, like, kind of clear, and they got to go a little hard way, because if they could have killed me, they would have done it last turn. So is it better to just hold up Cryptic Command, or should I oust one of these and hold up Cryptic Command? I could go like oust, bounce, draw. I think I'm going to go oust, snap, oust. Because like, they're likely going to be able to power through whatever I'm doing. Or at least go cryptic command, like, I think I'm just going to oust. Uh, I hate doing this. Yeah, I didn't think, I was like, the ritual, I was like, what went on there? I can either oust, snap, oust, or I can like oust, hold up cryptic command, or just hold up a cryptic command and do nothing. I guess what their hand tells me is they don't have enough to kill me, because they would have easily done it. So that could mean that they need like one business spell. So I can just hold up and then try to counter the business spell. So I think that's what we're going to do. I've never seen somebody pay like pay logic now with this with a ritual. So it was just interesting to see. And I can just cycle through one of these cryptic commands at the end of the turn. Just bouncing one of these. Because, like, even if we hit a land for Terminus, they're going to just give some given anyways. So we might as well just get a card out of it. Or at least attempt to get a card out of it. No, that sounds dumb anyways. So it doesn't make sense to do that. So we're just going to untap. Snapcaster Mage. This is unfortunate. It's so difficult, like, going from a mindset with most decks that I play to being very proactive and then moving to being trying to play reactively. It's just a little difficult change in mindset. Just not as, like, not just, just not confident for what I'm doing. This is a path of being in really good shape.
think I'm just gonna wait again. Like they easily if they if they find the right combination of cards, they're going to kill me. And I'm just going to assume that they're like one payoff card from doing it. So if I can counterspell that payoff card, then I might be in okay shape. I'm also pretty likely to just fire off this. I'd like to fire this cryptic command off on anything, but all right, so there's path. So now I can just pass and then I can do stuff on their end on their end set. Let's try this. let's try to do this in combat. We're not going to snap pass here. We're just going to pass and then do it on their end step. These terminus are so clunky. But that's that's a miracle for you. We must just have stone nothing. Like, it must hand just be like nothing but like lands and rituals. Which I guess makes sense from what they wanted when they were so desperate to pass, to, you know, use a card to pay for my logic knot. A long road in. I might just flash this snapcaster mage in. I don't know. Like I, I need I need more than two points a turn. Alright, we're just gonna start casting. Counter target spell draw a card. Because that also just blocks my Snapcaster Mage. I just want to start cycling through my deck. My hand is so clunky that I just want something to do. Here comes the gifts. Okay. It's going to be an interesting split. It's probably going to. I doubt it's going to be the normal split with the amount of mana that they have. Like it could just be a value gifts as well. The paths kind of cost us there because we couldn't, I guess there we couldn't flash in Snapcaster Mage and then Logic Knot our way out of that even without two lands. Like they just have, we just don't have enough going on in our graveyard. So I kind of want to just get rid of both of these. I doubt my opponent's going to be able to kill me with Desperate Ritual Grape Shot. And I want this to resolve because I just want to get my two for one and draw another card. And this is just going to get him back whatever they want. So, and like, so I think we go this because it like this Noxious Revival could let them with a Manamorphose like Mini Grape Shot and then deal enough damage. So I think I'm just going to ditch these two. If they've got enough to get me, then they've got enough to get me. But like, I've got to start. I have to start like doing something, and just sitting on my heels and not trying to like make a stand isn't going to get me anywhere. And my opponent's got a mana advantage. We're doing this this on the stack. They have great shot again. Oh, they're going to. Uh... What is this? 
oh, they're doing this before I draw a card. Storm count six. I guess also I didn't realize how high that storm count was. But either way, like, there's seven. You got one more spell, dude. All right, let's. So I got a one. You got a lightning bolt. Healed until next end step. They must just have another another grape shot. Yeah, that makes sense with what they had, because like they just weren't doing anything for so long, and we were just handcuffed there, not doing anything. Like it was a very awkward game. Now Moto's freezing, which probably makes sense. I should restart it. I wonder if I can restart it in between. So. Probably rest in peace, and all of my counter spells are good. I like the illuminations, though. I don't know enough about the archetype tannin to like be a really good um, to to talk about it confidently. Like here, I don't have any idea what the sideboard. I'm assuming cards like Jace and Lyra aren't great. I don't think Terminus is great, but they could Goblin me, so I probably want enough ways to deal with Goblins. I think Illumination is good. I think I think it's only like, the Cycle side is only so much worse than Opt, and the Cast side is so good. I probably want to cut a little bit removal. A little bit of removal? I have no idea. Maybe these search for his cantas aren't great either. Let me see what this looks like. Sort by converted mana cost. So let's move these over here just for looking. I played the deck a bit before, started playing it and thought so I was lacking in it. Are you speaking to Illumination, or are you speaking um, a card like Opt is is want is what you're looking for? I want to be a little leaner, but I don't know if I need more removal. But I feel like I want just enough removal, and on the play, like I have Mana Leak and Logic Knot. Though I'm keeping in my Snapcaster Mages with Rest in Peace, so maybe like I want to cut some number of Snapcasters and bring these back in. Maybe just like keep a Miser Snapcaster. It's awkward. The sideboarding in this deck is awkward. Like, I would almost want to move away from Snapcaster Mage if Rest in Pieces is important. But three Rest in Pieces against Storm, but they're going to board into, like, pieces of the puzzle. Win another round. He definitely... He's definitely right there. I need to restart Moto. Maybe I'll do that in between. Um, just tell my opponent I'm going to reset here. I mean, he's telling it how it is. Alright, I would like to play first. So we have an answer to the goblins. We can, and we have like a lot of dig. I think I'm going to keep this hand. If we can figure out how to go, like, we got a cryptic. I'm going to keep. I don't think I'd keep this hand if I was on the draw. But I just, I don't know. I believe in, I like Serum Vision so much that. Okay, so we hit a Logic Knot, which it would be nice if we could cast it. We can't cast either of these, though. I guess I should have thought about that when I kept my hand. That, like, the cards that I want to hit, I can't cast. So I think I'm actually going to put this field on top because it can fix our mana. So like we'll just bluff a counter spell and then like field and then cycle illumination. Regroup, refocus, and address receded. Yep. I took a I took about two months off from paper magic because I was doing very well on moto, but I could not win in paper, and I didn't know why. 
and like so i actually just took some time off and like really like stepped back and looked at what was going on in my paper game okay that's not good yeah it looks like it looks like i probably just kept a hand that was a little too slow and that is you know just my mistake so one of the things about playing different decks and such is i just don't don't exactly know what I'm supposed to do. I tend to think with a control deck, I should mulligan less. Oh, wow. They, well, that's a gift. So I'm just going to move to my end step, their end step, and then I'm going to field this. I kind of want to get an island to just cycle this illumination, but that's probably greedy. What is this? They're opting? Okay, because they can opt and still hold up Counterspell. There's definitely a lot of when you play volume of magic that sometimes you overlook some things just because you, you just play a lot, I think. You just miss stuff. Like, if you play a lot, like, if you don't play very often, like that guy Dan Lanthier or whatever, he just top eight of the GP last weekend, top eight of the SCG, and he's like, yeah, I just don't play Magic anymore. And I'm sure, like, if he takes time off, then he actually figures out what's going on. And he's obviously very good. But he just figures out, like, what the issue is. I think I just want to pass, and then, like, Try to ambush this Baral in combat. A Dispel here would be really nice. I've had that problem with poker for years and years. Yeah, it's much easier to just play games and put your head in the sand than think about what's going on. And I, and I think everybody's guilty about that. Too many times you play. I think I think that's in some ways I think that's good. <clears throat> yeah, I think I think that's I think that's a good strategy. All right, so this Roman was going to get us at some point. Anyways. <clears throat> the one thing is, this deck feels really, really solid against, like, the fair decks. But when you get decks that are trying to overload what you... Or not overload, but try to um, get underneath you, then I definitely feel a little stuck. This guy's probably just going to kill me now, yeah. I definitely, like, I definitely stream a little less than I have been, but I think that I, I play less in between my streaming now, and I think it gives me more time to just think about magic instead of playing, which helps, I think. <clears throat> what do we got, bud? What are you doing to me? I'd be very surprised if I get another turn here. Thing in the ice and the pieces of the puzzle, so it appears like I got another turn. The calm action, no matter what you're playing, control sucks. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, I can just sphere this Baral and hold up Logic Knot, which I think is, I think that's what we're going to do. Get this guy out of here. And then try to figure out this thing in the ice. It's a future, a future me issue. Because, like, I think the Baral is going to kill me more immediately 
than the thing will. And the brawl, the, the thing will actually kill me in conjunction with the brawl. Brawl. So. All right, you get a sleight of hand. And if my opponent just goes like hog wild, flips this, I'll just take a shot and then to ferry it back to their hand. But it doesn't appear they're going to do that. I think we're going to cycle this illumination because I just don't think we're going to have time to cast it for um, full retail. All right, dispel's nice. All right. If we had a fourth blue source, we could cryptic it. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that, Tannen. I think, like, so I actually, I started doing, like, streaming and, like, content because I needed, I wanted to get better. What is this? It's just a wipe away targeting that. All right. I started doing um, like content because I needed a way to help organize my thoughts. And what am I doing? I gotta, th I gotta think if I have to think of this end step. I could click them now, but then I don't have anything else going on. This thing's gonna flip. I kinda just wanna maybe chump this and dispel something, or maybe trade with this in combat, take a shot from here, dispel something, and then, I think, yeah, I think we're gonna try that. So I did, I did streaming because I wanted to be kind of do training in my professional work, and I found that, okay, so now the Brawl is gonna bounce back to their hand. That's kind of odd that they bounce the attention tree. I guess they just wanted to flip this thing. Yeah, play the play this game is hard. Yeah, there's a lot going on. <clears throat> so let's see what they have going on. Then see if I can maneuver into some sort of a reasonable spot here. Okay, so they have double brawl, empty grape shot pieces. I think my best shot here is to take pieces. I could just take nothing. They cast pieces and then can't do anything. Or they can cast brawl and then cast pieces. So that doesn't feel great. If I let them, if I just take something else, they can kill me. But I think my best shot is to take this brawl not block this, Teferi tick down on this, or D-Sphere, this thing, have a counterspell and just hope that we get there. So if I'm not going to play Teferi, I shouldn't block this thing. Well, no, the life points, the life points matter, so we're just going to jump. And I've got, a, I've got a replacement. And we've got we know that they could have only drawn like one piece of inner, one piece of the combo to keep going. And we have the first piece, like a manamorphos. We have manamorphos covered. And we know like with perfect information that that's good. There's a chance they also just don't jam. They're gonna empty. Okay. I didn't think about that line. But that does make sense from our opponent to do that, which makes the um, which makes the whole not chumping thing, which makes the whole chump blocking thing better. Okay. So now. I want another blue source, so I can go like blue, blue here. So I almost just want to go field, 
and then detention sphere and just cross my fingers so then I can do more with my mana. You know, I go like click plus logic knot or, you know, cryptic command this plus this bell. So I think we're just going to like, I think this gives us our best chance to win. Fix our mana, hit these. Hopefully in two draw steps, my opponent didn't find a way to like, I don't know, kill me next turn. It doesn't take a lot, but I think it's, oh, the bolt here, could they get bolt the one they get? I didn't think about that. But I think if they have bolt in against the control deck, it's probably pretty loose. <clears throat> Is this deck good? Maybe you were supposed to field the first to get more blue mana. Yeah, I got there now, Freed Mania. Maybe I did it a little slow, but to get there. I mean, he easily does not take a lot. There's the Brawl. Into a Pieces? This is a Pieces? Okay. Tap on Steve Spear. So now I'm dead. Right, they have six spells. I know they have Grape Shot. Sad. All right, we're good. I'm not going to sit here and... I know they've got the grape shot, and I could dirtle around for a while, but <clears throat> navigating those combo decks is tough. I think especially with this Illuminations, I could slant my sideboard a lot more. It's been a tough showing so far. I should restart my Matt. I should restart Moto. I was talking about that. Give me one second. Let me do that. Restart Moto. I appreciate everyone showing up and hanging out tonight. It is fun. I'm, it's fun. It's nice um, whenever you're playing a new deck, having people in there, especially when they're, like, they're reasonable because you know they know this deck more than I do. <clears throat> the 0204 is tough. It is. You like one surgical over rip to help the combo. Okay. My, um, what was I going to say? When I played at GP Detroit, my uh, the guy that was on my team played two two rest in pieces and two surgicals, and he liked he liked that split a lot. I just grabbed this from a list and I just cut the ops and added illuminations just to because I think that card's really cool. I think it's good. I think it's I think it's pretty solid too. I think the cycle mode is only marginally worse than. Um, opt. I think it makes your terminuses worse, so that's why that's why I cut three, played three, but like that's not a very, that's like a three leagued opinion. Um, so it's like I wouldn't take that with a grain of salt, or I would take that with a grain of salt. Four graveyard spots is a bit much, is it? Like I think I think the moderns fairly. I mean, if we saw, I mean, obviously the SCG, there's plenty of dredge. The Mardu Pyromancer, the Bridgevine decks, the Hollow ones. I think Graveyard's like, unless you're saying like Terminus is your way to get around Graveyard stuff as well, then that makes sense. I played three Op, three Illuminations, zero Serum Ruins. You have enough cards off. Which cards off? Find it. <clears throat> I thought you were playing humans for a while, Andy. At least that's what you were talking about on the podcast. Op doesn't... You're saying Op, op digs better than Illumination, but, like, hardly digs... Like, is a scry really worth it when the upside on Illumination is so good? You play it all. Okay. That's that's the good thing to do if you if you if you have the time to dedicate to that and that's the way to move around. I've determined that I want to like I want my modern range to I want to when I go to a tournament I want to be able to play the best Thoughtseize or Snapcaster deck, and if none of those decks are good I want to play Ironworks. So I think I think that's what I'm going to start working towards. Let me get some water.
<clears throat> You'd have blue on humans the most recently? I've never gotten into humans. I played it. A Am I playing the open? Are you talking about in Baltimore there, Jack? I don't think the problem with green black is like I, I don't think that like obviously assassin's trophy is like a good card and should see play but like it doesn't fix the fundamental problems that you have like snapcast your mage in your deck or not snapcast like you scavenge you in your deck and like liliana the veil and like a two mana removal spell against humans is not good you know like um assassin's trophy assassin's trophy is good but I don't know if it fixes the fundamental flaws that the decks have. Humans is very good but boring. I think this deck is just so. I think this deck is just like Jund. It's it's just the new Jund of the format. Like this deck plays good cards all the way up the curve. It's not like you have to play like bad cards to get to Cryptic Command to make it. I think I'm supposed to mulligan hands like this. Even though I've got like the spells that I need, I just need lands. But I don't know if I'm supposed to, as a control player, like, believe in the cards. You know, because my deck is, I had the powerful spells that went in the game. But I think I'm going to toss this back. I'm going to keep this one. This here moves. What more do you want? Yes. My gut was to mull it, but I, I did not know if it was, like, I don't know, like, the mentality of playing, like, of answering the questions versus asking the questions. Noble Hierarch. Green, black, Noble Hierarch. It's like a company deck. Click Jace. I think we want, probably want both of these. Mm. All right. So that thing's dead. And we're just going to do this now. We get to ramp our opponent, but, you know, such is life. I wish I didn't have this click now, because this click is just going to get wrecked by a lingering souls. But such is life. <clears throat> Probably not going to be able to do anything good with my Jace either, because of the shambling vent. Even if they don't lingering souls me, I guess just playing flashback lingering souls, which sucks. Inquisition, okay. I get my click. Then I gotta filter into Liliana. They gotta lingering souls me. I gotta siege Rhino. No, they're just all right, dude. This is the hard part where with my Jace, I want to do something with it. But in order for me to do something with it, I probably will have to plus it on myself or just be accept getting an extra card off the brainstorm and then just going down a card. Or not going down a card, but not getting and then just having it die to a shambling vent. Where if I hit a fetch land, I might do it. Well, now it looks like we're going to need an instant speed way to deal with these. So maybe my Jace is just going to really gain me three life and I get to brainstorm. It's pretty mopey. But I don't think, I think doing nothing is pretty bad too. So I think we're just going to do it and then get a second card out of it. Get something while we can. All right, well, we got an answer to some lands. So next turn, we terminus this thing away, and then get to field something. Yeah, well, I guess we can put the ghost quarter underneath. Go like this. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I got to as well, Andy. It does not feel good, but at least we're doing something.
All right. I think they could have snuffed that out. So now we deal with a noble hierarchy, and then we hit this because I, I think I'm going to do this probably in their draw step because I, they might not have another white. So they might not have a basic planes like some of the Azan decks. Uh, I think like the, the traverse ones sometimes don't play a planes. So let's we could just not miracle this as well. Yeah, you know, just like not miracle this and threaten it. I did just give it away, but so now I'm not going to do this in the draw step. I'm going to wait till they activate because they still have white mana no matter what. <clears throat> All right, you get to shamble. This is so mopey. This is why I, I, I played this Abzan deck for a while, and this is why I was just like, oh, I can't do it. Because, like, this is just the definition of mope. Let's just get a planes. Like, just firing up my shambling vents is, like, just embarrassing. Them not having a planes makes me wish that I got rid of this. How you doing, Archmage? Now I kind of want to get both of these. Yeah, I think I'm going to get both of these now. In, in hopes that... Because like they didn't fetch a white source off of that. So they could just be playing me. But this we will take. That illumination though. Oh, can we even we can even feel the ruin and illumination. This is nice. Not too bad. My weekend went by so quick. Mine did too. I went I drove um I drove to it with a friend to uh do they really Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like this is too good to be true. I am going to get rid of this treetop village, even though this windswept heath represents damage. I don't want to, like, get too low and then get siege rhinoed out of this game. I'm just get another white source. And then get the old twofer. Their hand's probably just a bunch of removal spells at this point. Woo! Dude, I love this card. They used to not be like I used to not like playing control decks in standard, but then I like cast a fairy. And I was like, that's I think that's what I want to be doing. And it's Kanta. Like my whole the reason that's why this deck is good. This deck's got four cards in the last however long, and they're all in standard right now. Yeah, this is Illumination's very good here. Like we just broke the game open. The game I did not think we were going to win. But that's another reason. Like I don't think that these black green decks are going to get a lot from Assassin's Trophy because, like, it's like they can kill my Teferi. I drew a card. You know, I, I, the da more lands is just good. The damage has been done. This is another huge issue I have, like how these rest in pieces are so important, but then I have Snapcaster Mages. Like, I, I almost don't want to play these Snapcaster Mages. I don't think Bane Slayer Angel is that good, unless I, but Bane Slayer Angel plus Timely Reinforcements is probably fine. And then like... Cards I'm not super interested in. Vendillion Click I'm not interested in. Probably don't want Lodge Knot if I'm bringing in Rest in Peace. Bane Slayer Angel and Lyra are so sketchy because of Liliana the Veil. 
I mean, I almost don't even think I'm supposed to bring these cards in. I, I don't think I'm going to. I think we're just going to bring in another Wrath. Let me see what this looks like. My Scanta's never going to flip if I have Rest in Peace. It's a very awkward sideboarding tension with this deck that I'm not, I don't really like. Zero Snaps Call if you don't run Terminus. Just wait until we get a good Azorius card in the next set. Zero Snaps is close to optimal if you don't run Terminus. Why is that? It feels too good not to play. So what do you do? You just side in like a rest in peace and then or is like or do I just say like let's just go straight up and I don't need these and my snapcaster mages are just better? <coughs> Cut a rip and a search for two snaps. But isn't search really good against this deck as well? I'm just gonna go my like I'm gonna say these five cards are better than your Tarmogoyfs. And your lingering souls. I think that I think I'm just not gonna do it. I think I think having these in my deck versus having these in my deck is just better because my cards are better than theirs. And I just don't wanna enable what they're doing. Exactly. So I, I don't even think I'm gonna board in rip. I think I'm just gonna be like I didn't see Grim Flare, I did see Bob. So But, like, does that even make sense, Archmage? Because, like, if they shut down the best parts of my deck, um, if they shut down if they shut down the best parts of my deck, and my deck's, like, probably just better than theirs is, is it right for me to board it in? Heater. We're just going to keep any seven cards that works. I think the sideboard needs, like, a Disenchant and a Celestial Purge. Just sort of playing a little bit with it. That's why I feel like this deck is just, this blue-white deck isn't like a control deck. It's just kind of like Jun. But it's like actually good. Because you just play like such high quality cards all the way up the curve. That it, just, it doesn't really matter what your opponent does. You can lose if you mold a five. Can't lose when you mold a five. You always keep seven. Exactly. Took my negate. That's rude. That is wicked rude. We gotta remember to play our field over next turn so we don't give our opponent anything. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, if they play Lingering Souls, I kinda wanna mana leak it. What's he going to take? I really don't want him to take my Illumination. I think I'm going to leak this. You can have your Lingering Souls. And then I'm just going to field this white source. And then hold up Path to Exile on something next turn. I think I just want to keep my 2 for 1. Where my 2 for 1 matters. Alright. Kind of unfortunate, but I, no, I'm just going to get an island. <coughs> Cast here in Visions. <coughs> God, we even drew the land. Like, we're so good at this game. I feel the man land to protect future walkers. Okay. So the Snapcaster is. A maybe. The Settle the Wreckage is also probably good. What am I doing next turn? <clears throat> I can go hold up Snapcaster plus Counterspell or Hieroglyph Illumination. So I think we're, we want both of these. I'm going to draw the Snapcaster Mage first. And I'm not going to play my fetch land. I'm going to play this land. Because if I 
I do it like this, I can, I can kind of have it all. I guess killing the man land is important. Yeah, you were probably right for Freak Mania. Hit a path. Excuse man. So now I think we're just gonna snap path this thing because my snapcaster is a little shut off. If I don't do that, though. They're probably not going to play around and settle the wreckage. What are they going to do? I think we're just going to take our, like, if, I think we're just going to take our draw two. And if they get lazy with this scavenging use, I might flash in and try to eat it. I could just block, like, run a block and then, like, and get, like, if they just try to like, jam Liliana, we could do that. They're gonna get white. They're gonna get white if you path settle. Yeah. Well, they haven't. I don't think they play a basic planes. And we'll counter something like a Liliana if they if that's what they have. All right. Kitchen Finks is these. That is okay. Draw two cards. Oost. And land go. Oh man, we have another draw two. We're just gonna like and that's the problem here is like I just feel like all my threats, I feel like I'm literally in, in some weird way, I feel like I'm the cards beat down against this deck. Like in just every way imaginable, I'm just gonna take them to school here. I think we're going to. Especially considering they just ate that path. I really hope they don't. Um, Dot sees me. You think this is going to be like a concession settle? We're going to get a basic. I think we're, I think we're just going to like protect the life total. I think they're gonna scoop. Is it a concession settle? Is it? Maybe. No. No. They're gonna. They're gonna keep going. You know, if my opponent, if there's any, my opponent's got anything going on, my mana leak, my graveyard's not gonna be any good anymore. It might still be. They didn't even get that many cards out of it. Teferi. Rats. I really just want to get greedy and do this now. But I might as well counter Liliana on the way down. That was a good one. Yeah. Oh, man. Are they even going to see the Snapcaster back? The settle. The back half of a settle? I should have. Um, I should have done this. I think I should have Illumination with the second one on the stack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we're gonna pass. Oh man, my poor, poor. I wonder if they're gonna play around it. No. That's tough. That is tough. I'm not even sure like they can actually play around that. Have me having five cards in hand at eleven, them only having lingering souls. Like, can they actually play around anything? Look at cute little tongue loif. Oh, because they have two now they have those, we can go timely plus Jace. We get our dudes. 
We get our life. And I think I'm going up on my opponent. Put scavenging news to the bottom. No. You can draw that scavenging news. I will literally just path it. Because path is just plow with upside. Can I try to do this timer boy? Five. Yeah, I think I'm just going to trade with this Goyf. Get this thing off the battlefield. Deal with the next one. I can even snap the Timely back. If that's really what we want to do. But he might just eat my entire graveyard. Alright, well, let's brainstorm first. Keep this terminus. I think we're going to go like this. Get this out of here. Go get a white source. And I think I'm just going to go path oust. Like, just clear the board. My opponent. We just have the board clear. Untap with Jace. Don't you path oust then field? Path oust then field. What do we? Oh, you're right. Let's do this right here. I don't. I think. I think I want to have them have the noble hierarch in two draws. So I probably should go like a well, path to exile. Doesn't matter either. But I should. I should have. I should have made it so that the oust was last to put noble hierarch on top of their deck. And it's like after watching that, does a removal spell really change what's going on there? I don't think it does. And I just don't think I don't think a removal spell fixes anything. Like this has trophy is very good, but I don't I just do not believe it does anything there. Hmm. Might have to get some tea. This doesn't matter. It's only if you want to force them to shuffle. I lost ground with playing control since search was pointed. Yeah. It's I tend to think that I, like, that the actual deck that's, because, like, Abzan used to be better against Control than Jund was, but, like, since Bloodbray Elf was printed, and since all the other cards that were printed, I think that Jund is actually better against Control now, because you just kill them faster. Like, there's no point, like, I'm not, it's not even, like, the Bloodbray Elf grind plan, like, that's not even that good, I don't think. I think the whole, like, you know, the Bloodbray Elf pr pressure plan is what makes it better, and, like, the fact that Abzan goes long doesn't help at all. Like the whole lingering souls grind out plan is just like not good. All right, we're gonna keep this. Play my colonnade on one. Yeah, bulk gives reach forces. Yeah, exactly. Like I think I think the the jund aggro plan is what's important. Oh, planes burn. <laughs> This does not seem like a solid matchup. I do have two Timelys and two Angels on my board. So maybe we're going to be okay. 
I have to get an island with this. Like path this thing, get island and cycle this. Solve out damage reduction. Burn is harder for terminus. <laughs> it's just everything harder for terminus there, Archmage. shots we're definitely just pathing this like we're, we're on the take no damage route if they follow up with an Eidolon I'm gonna feel pretty stupid but I think we're just gonna try to get try to just preserve our life total as much as possible Game one slam J star plus name is the best way to win. Okay. There's the idol on probably yeah. Punished. I think I'm going to main phase this field because they don't play a basic whites. They don't play a basic white source. I'm gonna get an island. So I can cycle this illumination. Cut them off some white spells. And then I don't know if I go Jace down or Jace Jace up. I probably have to bounce the idol on. Oh man, they got another white source. Might have to just Jace brainstorm. Put the terminus back now. Cycle first. You talking about this at the end of their turn? Before we figure out what we're going to do with Jace? Yeah, for sure. It's going to be sad if we hit a Terminus, but such is life. Or you path swiftly. Oh, is the lag that bad? It's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. They only have two cards. We are going to seven. So like, you know, either way we we cut this, it's not good. I think I have to go like Jace bounce this. Because, like, I'm dead to any burn spell if I leave this idol on in play. Yeah, I think I'm just going to bounce this idol on. Just try to save some life points. It's likely it's not going to work. And I acknowledge that going into it. But I think it's I think it's our best our best plan of action. Then maybe they like a, like bolt me attack this and at four they play Eidolon. and maybe I can do something. Now they're just going right for my head. Yeah, most likely dead. We're just going for whatever the best option for us is. But you never know. The fact that they're thinking here.
Talky tournament, so give us a chance. Yep. I'm only playing three, so maybe that's you know maybe that's wrong again. Right one. So you're gonna lock me, or are you gonna get rid of my? Oh, you're gonna get rid of my Jace. They're not gonna lock me. Okay. So this is a burn spell. No, it was a burn spell. They would just kill me. So we'll just bounce this again. And maybe if they spend the resources to kill Jace again, then we'll be able to Terminus. And we're just going to go to three, like whatever. We're not beating a Lightning Bolt anyways, because they just bolt me and then attack me. So their hand's probably just a bunch of duds. Or like Searing Blazes. God, playing an idol on oh. I hope I thought they were playing the idol on. Yep, you got it. You got it, sir. So this comes in, these come in. Slim down the planeswalkers, the searches, clicks are probably fine. Do they think you had a spell pierce? Probably spell snare. Clicks not good? Okay. In this matchup, this is over here. Then probably whatever my clunk next clunkiest card is. Maybe Settle the Wreckage is what I should get rid of. Because like Settle the Wreckage is likely going to kill one, maybe two creatures. I think I'm going to cut one of these. I think it's worse than my other cards. Why did I cut Logic Knot? No, 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 Oh shoot, what's going on? Um, cut a random card. Probably a snapcaster. I should I should have my logic not in my deck. Unless I think they're bringing in a graveyard graveyard hate, but I think if they bring in graveyard hate, it's good for the home team. Yeah, pretty solid hand. I think I'm just gonna. I shouldn't have played this land. I should have just played it tapped because I'm not gonna be able to. Like, I probably have to fetch a hollow fountain here. And if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna hold up and look to path something. Because I want to be able to path or cast a cantrip next turn. So I probably should have just play my colonnade. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to go get a Hollow Fountain. Take three. Hopefully the Timely does us enough here. Let's let the Trigger Resolve. Serum Visions. All right, we can shuffle that away. Get a Tapped Fountain. I think I'm going to get... But I want to be able to Serum Visions plus Tap Land next turn and get this off the board. So I think I'm just going to take three. Deal with this. And then be able to go Serum Setup plus Tap Land. Snap's not bad. Put Illumination on the bottom, put this on top. Timely, Snap Timely, hopefully, is the plan. I don't like giving them extra mana this early. So is it like is life points is life points more important than mana? I don't think I have to like pick my spot here with this timely reinforcements because I don't want it to get skull cracked.
If they leave up two mana, I might just go like Snap Serum Visions. I could Snap Path. If I Snap Path the first one, I should Snap Path the second one. So I think that is the plan. Oh, I'll just play other decks there. Mac, Mac, Mac Slow. Mac Slow. I'd like to... I know how to play Shadow well enough where I would like to be able to play all the fair decks well enough to like go to an open or go to a Grand Prix. Because, like... Or play... And if none of the fair decks I think are good, then play Ironworks. I believe that is my plan. They just go sh shock. Shock pass. What a jerk. I'm just going to path this. Keep my Snapcaster in play. I could also try to block and then path my own Snapcaster. I don't know how good that is, especially when they might have Searing Blaze. I think I'm just going to path this. The last thing I want to do is get my Snapcaster Searing Blaze and take two more from this Swift Spear. And if I pass the first one, we're going to path the second one. I'm pretty certain that they're sitting on something like Skullcrack, so see if we can coax that out of our opponents. And worst was the worst, we're on the clock. We're on the board, I mean. Charm me, okay. All right, we're gonna get in with this Snapcaster Mage because we can Doomblade another creature if we need to. We have a negate up, we have a counter spell up. Not hitting a land drop there is pretty rough. So they're definitely sitting on a skull crack. Or there's merit to just casting the Snapcaster Mage. End of turn. I'm just going to die with it in my hand if I don't cast it. I think we're just going to like... Because what is this doing? It's not doing anything. If I tap out, what are they going to do to me? They're probably going to fire a bunch of burn off and hopefully I can timely them. These just aren't doing anything in my hand. I'm going to die with them in my hand. I might as well try to get on the board. Then maybe I can set up where I crack them for four, get a lucky counter spell in. Well, that plan just ended. When you're playing against humans, being controller is trying to end the game. Seems legit. Uh, I went to my first PD year. It was lots of fun. Doing swims out of nowhere is great. Oh, I was wondering what you're playing against humans, being controller is trying to end the game ASAP. I'm actually not sure, Moxlau. I need to like play that matchup more. I've been struggling. 
quite a bit against that <clears throat> since, like, and, and if they move away from Bugler, then I probably can play the Lava Mancer game. But, I don't know. It's, it's in a, the Death Shadow deck, I don't have a good philosophy for what's going on. I'm just going to counter this. We're going down to six, and they're going to have three cards. I'm fairly certain one of them is a... Uh, very certain one of them is a skull crack. Shadow, Guild Mage. All right, looks like we're dead. Come on, maybe? Maybe? What's taking them so long? Oh, they have Firecraft? Okay. All right, we're going to play out the league. Shadow Guild Mage. Card, Shadow, Guild Mage. Shadow Guild Mage. Tap. <laughs> Target creature control on top of your own library. Or tap. Shadow Guild Mage does one damage to any target and one damage to you. This is a new card? Or is this an old card there, Griffin? Right, Griffin, right? I, I think it is. Yeah. How do you pronounce your last name? Lucier? We put it in Time Spiral. This card is before my time. Put target creature on top of its owner's library. Card seems a little behind, little little uh, below the mark, in my opinion. Lou, sir. But no one does it right. That's okay. People mess up my last name, too. It, it's much easier than yours is. I think people just suck at names. Okay. Do I play first? Yes. <clears throat> and I'll keep my hand. Play this Flooded Strand. <coughs> and then pass. Yield until next time step. What are we playing against? We'll find out quick. Playing against more burn. Oh no, looting. Is like the Mardu Pyromancer deck, or we got to play another Bridgevine deck. Whoa. I do not know what we're playing against, but it looks weird. It looks like, it's probably a bad matchup. It looks like it's some combo deck, which is not good for the home team. I don't really want to cast Serum Visions because I don't exactly know what is going on over there, and I'd like to be able to have a counter spell up this turn in case my opponent does something weird. But, like, what? Infinite Plunge is cost Sacrifice Creature. Is there a Goblin Storm deck? You control this spell. Cast from a graveyard, copy that spell twice. You may choose new targets for its copies. Hmm. I have no idea what's going on. Manamorphos. Yeah, so it's definitely some kind of weird control, weird um, storm deck, I think. Is Manamorphos in it? Alright, we don't want either of these. Play this pass. Hopefully, we can maneuver a good. Time to play this Jace. Manamorphos. Okay. I don't let that go. I 
I think I'm going to counter anything that tries to make mana. Portaling Outburst. All right, I'm going to counter this. Do I want to play Jace next turn? That's the question. I do really want to try to stick a Jace. I think we're going to counter this, see what we draw. And if we don't hit anything here, I'm going to, I think, jam this. You know. All right, well, that makes me want to wait. Just because we can just play that next turn. Then hopefully find some kind of interaction. Dragon fodder. My hand's so clogged up when we're drawing so many cards that I think I'm just gonna go. I think I'm just gonna fire these off. And I'm not sure that that is the right approach, but I don't see my opponent with four cards like getting me from here. And I'd much rather be able to play my Teferi or play my Jace on an open board. which part one is complete. I'm going to cycle this illumination no matter what. Looting. I don't understand what my phone effect is doing. I'm a little confused, but... Probably not going to play Jace, probably just going to play, well now we're going to just hold up, one, two, three, four, five. So let's cast, I think the best thing to do is actually cast click on my main phase, click them, untap, play an untap hallowed found, untap my two islands, battle him, add the infinite infernal plunge. I think we just let them keep this, and then we we get rid of the next payoff that they have. I actually can still can do this and Serum Visions. We have settled the wreckage, so I don't think we're gonna need to turn this. Street Wraith, okay. That makes sense, I guess. Street Wraith is just an odd card that you can play basically anywhere. Yeah, we'll let that go. And then we'll play Jace and Teferi. Have Jace and Teferi going next turn. We just Dragon Fodder and a Mountain, so we know three out of their three other five cards okay not hitting a land there wasn't good but hopefully we get a chance at it next turn We'll just untap our colored sources. It's like the ghost quarter isn't as trivial as well. It's odd they cycled Street Wraith there and not on their main phase. They're pausing their draw step. What does this do? Each player discards their hand, draws seven cards. So I'm just going to counter this. I don't want to do that. Counter target spell, draw a card. I don't know exactly how this goes poorly, but. All right, so we hit a land. Going up with this for sure. I'd like to find another counter spell. So let's just get another counter spell. We didn't find one, which wasn't good. 
So let's just ditch both these ousts. Play this. Play search. Two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna have to discard, which is sad. But we're gonna be able to ult to fairy next turn, which should which should win us the game. No, I shouldn't have done that. Should have kept that around. Should have probably gotten rid of one of the redundant path exiles. So we have Alice on top of our deck. I wish I had a way to shuffle, but fortunately I do not. I could ghost quarter myself, but that's kind of mopey. I can clear my top card with Ascanta. That also seems mopey. Um, let's get rid of these. Just get rid of all of my opponent's lands. <clears throat> this game should be pretty much wrapped up. And I guess now we'll go like that, get that off of there. Then I can just path this. They get a basic, and I'll just cycle this and get rid of it. Not so, then we're gonna untap him to gate up. So we're in we're in a good spot. To say the least. I might just scoop this match because it like doesn't super seem like it's worth playing. Like, I'm not really sure what my opponent's deck does. And it might just not be worth my time and I can play another league. Put Young Pyromancer on the bottom. No. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're actually just going to win this game and scoop the match. Because it just... I don't really know what's going on here, but it just doesn't really seem worth it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I clicked through that. And we're already 1-3, so I'm not going to take this guy's play points. Yeah, we're just, I'm going to win this game, then we'll scoop it up. We'll play another league. But yeah, I'll be back for another video in just a second.